Now this part fucking sucks, but yeah, it's all jumps. I will give you a couple tips that I do near the very ends of the jumps though. <laughs> What's up everyone, Dr. D here, and in this video we're doing a song breakdown for Ishtar Challenge. This was requested by Stardy29, and in this video we're going to be breaking down all the complicated patterns that you're going to be finding in this challenging, very, very challenging 16. And oh boy, does it have some shock arrows. Alright, if you're ready, let's just jump right into it. So, Ishtar, what I always like to say is, let's find out the BPM first and foremost. I believe Ishtar is 156. <laughs> oh man, it's like one of the old videos where he doesn't have the BPM. I believe it's 156 though, and I'm like kind of known for knowing BPMs. All right, so Ishtar, 155 range, 156. What are we using? Well, likely you're going to be wanting to wanting to get up above three more more likely like 3.5 375 and if you're me 4x if you're chris probably five <laughs> but uh you want to really spread out these notes there's definitely some more complicated patterns that uh are that are going to involve some twisting near the beginning and the end and maybe reading it on a slower pattern a few times to build up muscle memories to know where the transitions are could be beneficial but overall we really need to spread out these notes and to be able to look between the shocks. All right, let's start off and I'll pause when needed. And FYI, it's so rude. The challenge chart starts off like right away. The expert chart has like an extra measure and like gets you in the mood. So I, I can't tell you how many times like my friend picked the expert, I picked the challenge and I'm like chilling out with them and like, oh shit, my notes are coming. So. Yeah. All right. And yeah, here's our first shock. And I'll just give you, a, I'll let it play for a while, but the the brief note that I'm going to use for nearly all the shocks in here, not all of them, but nearly all the shocks is that's going to be a middle step. So like, for example, for this one, that's going to be a left, right, left, but immediately I'm going to hop probably my right because I'm finishing on my left. So my right foot is going to hop onto the middle panel briefly so that I can take the pressure off of all of the, the sensors on the arrows and then set up for that. So in general, unless otherwise stated, the shock arrows in this song are going to uh, represent like a middle step where you got to make sure everything is off of it. All right, let's continue. I have to admit that with the assist clap, it sounds so weird. It sounds so weird because even though the shock is not a note, because you're making it a note, it might as well be a note. You know what I'm saying? So like hearing that absent of when I know I'm hitting something, ah, oh, that's weird. All right, so yeah, there's some very complicated uh, things going on right here. So for example, this one's easy, and then this one should also be pretty easy. And then, because, okay, so this is like where the things get a little bit tricky because uh, for this one in particular, we're finishing with our, our right foot. So the left and to the right, so that's fine. But then here, so we're finishing with the left, which means that our right foot will plant here and we will immediately go back to our left. So, okay, that's still fine. Oh, it does not like freeze frame. All right. Okay, so then here's our first crossover. And yes, I would recommend doing this legit. If you try to double step it, it's really going to be hard to get up in time for this. Where if you can at least cross over left, right, left, you can quickly. But in this case, yeah, see here's like where it gets a little harder. Because before, you were throwing your the opposite foot on there. So if you finish with your right foot, you'd put your left foot in the middle. Not this time. After you finish, actually technically yes. I'm just so confused because it's a right and usually you hit a right with a right. Okay, okay, I was wrong. So yeah, left, right, left, right, left, and then right foot in the middle panel and then do the triplet. All right, nothing, nothing here. Again, use the middle. Okay, this, you want, you don't want to do follow it. And by following it, I mean, if I can show it. 
So in general, you might think that this is a crossover left, right, left, right, left. But if you finish here with your left, you're kind of in big trouble here. So you want to double step this part. And then once again, same thing, double step it, bring your left foot down and then right foot. And then this is similar to the other one, so right foot there. Although this time we actually do have one more step here. And this one I would more op op often want to jump over because of how I'm finishing. So the crossover to the right, followed by your left foot doing a back cross here. And then I might just hop in the air and then land on the, the up air with my right foot. Okay, now these, usually if it's a jump to a jump, you are jumping over. So dun 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 You have to be airborne. It feels awkward, it is awkward, but with practice, you will get used to it. All right, once again. Jump, very high jump. You're, you're jumping over all of these. All right, first 140 steps, we are only 25% of the way through it, and there's a lot more bullshit coming. All right, so you can just hop over this one, or near the end, you can drop off. You should be able to clear this, no problem. This part's so awesome. Make sure you're starting with your left foot for this section. Okay. Briefly top to the middle and now we're going to do the fun. Now the important thing here is it does flow if you know it. So if you're over here, you don't see a lot of the things coming up. And I mean, this is only 3x. We're going to be on 4. Although to be fair, Step Mania 4 does not look the same as Arcade 4. I'm not sure if you guys know that, but there is a big difference. This would actually be closer to like a 3.5 on an Arcade, just FYI. But yeah, we don't know what's coming up, but you got to know like, for example, start with your right foot. You know, you got to know like basic things. So let's follow it through. And there's only a couple tricks that will involve shocks and crossovers. Right, that's pretty, very straightforward. But this one, is not as straightforward. Okay, look at it again. So this one, we're gonna finish there, but we must do this one. You could technically, I personally don't. I, I, I can see it working. You could do this one with your right up and then right foot here and then you're in a perfect position. But personally, I really hate swinging my right foot to the left arrow, especially if it's only for like one note. I would rather here force it. I'd rather force my, my left foot to do a, a double step. So I'm going to be this here with my left. And then like I'd rather do this right foot, left foot, right foot. But in fact, you do have enough time to, as soon as you finish that, to hop over and hit that. You do have enough time. And I've, I, I do it both ways. And then just either way, you want to make sure you're with your right here and then follow this one out. All right, this is a legitimate crossover. There's no bullshitting this. Yeah, I got a crossover. All right, that's just timing. Now this part fucking sucks, but yeah, it's all jumps. I will give you a couple tips that I do near the very ends of the jumps though. Actually, I can't really give you a tip for that one. All right, now here is where the pattern is going to be played out. So left foot, and then very important, this note must be hit with our right foot. So after we finish the cross, our left foot is going to hit this. And in general, our body is going to be facing right this entire next section. Pay very close attention. So we're still facing right, and then we're going to do this one. And then finally, we can go back to the regular. And then, god damn it, we're at the part. What is the part? This is the part. Oh boy, okay, at this moment, we're gonna take a look and see how Funga does it. Yeah, you can see the high hops. Yeah, he's doing it the way that I told you. All right, now let, let's see how he does this section, then I'll tell you how I do it. 
Yeah, like no matter how you do it, you're gonna look funny. So he opts to actually use the metal plates here and then just do heel toe for this section. But then as soon as it goes to the up down, he like he's like springing himself off, and I completely understand it. You really want to like you know get off as quickly as possible. All right, I'm gonna bring it back to my video, and I'm gonna explain why he's doing that and how I do it and why I do it like that. So. Yeah, let's just uh, let's get started with uh, what's the, what's a better way to introduce you. So let's just start by giving a big fuck you to shock arrows in DDR because they do not function like mines. Mines uh, are a lot kinder in ITG. The shock arrow triggering them in the early window is incredibly early. Like I don't know. I, I guess it goes by good timing, which is like super fucking close. So like. It's so easy to trigger shock arrows in DDR. It's like almost a joke. So putting a 16th note that close is like a recipe for disaster. All right, there's three ways you can do it. One, follow what Funga did. I've personally never done that, but I, I get it. Now, two, yes, you're going to want to go as high as you can. Act like your life depends on it as soon as, as, soon as you hit that note. So... You're jumping into it, right? And then as soon as you feel like Mario, spring up as high as you can and then go back, spring up as high as you can. That's how I generally do it. I generally do it like that. So, and you want to be like very, it's like, it's a weird thing. Like you want to be very light on your step, but you want to be so fast to get up. So like kind of like float like a butterfly sting like a bee. The stinging like a bee part meaning your jump up to get the fuck out of the way. So da -dun, da -dun, da -dun. just as soon as you gallop, like keep your if you're doing your left foot, this is left for me. Uh, if you're doing your left foot, so like they're both jumping up here. OK, so like you don't have time to like make them. E OK, yeah, think of it like that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, I'm on to something. I'm on to something, I promise. Generally, when we're doing gallops, they're going like this, right? Think about your feet doing this. I hope that the chroma key is not blocking out my hands. Please, oh, that would be so awkward. Hold on, I gotta check. Is this actually coming through? Oh, it is blocking out my hands, kind of. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, so, hear me out here. So, in general, we are doing the... You know, da -dun, da -dun, da -dun. and there's always that moment where, like, you're kind of like evening out. But in this case, you don't want to even out. You want to like, as soon as you gallop, like you're still coming up and you're like in this position, and then you're doing the evening out while you're in the air. You're doing the evening out while you are in the air. You got it, huh? Okay. All right. All right. I th I, th I think we got it. <laughs> All right, so that's how you do the first uh, two. So it does four gallops, and then it goes to the up-down. Now, for the up-down, I do have a secret. I, I do have a secret that I don't see people utilize, and this is, like, my secret weapon. So I actually plant my right heel on the center panel. So at this section, I will plant my heel on the center panel, and then only my tip only the tip of my toe is going to slam down on the up arrow. So only my my left my left would be like dun dun and then with the toe and then I lift up and then dun dun with with just like heel toe kind of with I only use my toe for the ups on my right foot. Uh did I play it recently in a stream? I'd love to show you guys, but that's how I do it. I keep my, my right foot in the center and I just tap I just smack it briefly, lightly. And that's how you get away with it. And yeah, that's 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 it. So I do that until the end. Now the last option you could do is make this a triplet. I've seen people do this. I've never had success. And if you can, great. But what that means is like, yeah, use the center panel as a, as a middle step. So at this section, you would be doing dun dun and then up. Then, okay, so left right middle right left middle left right middle right left middle but you can kind of get away with it doing it on left and right but then you get to the down ups and it feels really weird you'd be doing 
down, up, middle, like, oh, that, that just feels weird. It feels like a crossover almost, and at the speed which you have to do it and the absolute precision you have to be, it's it's really hard. Uh, like, basically, I'm in a position where I, I sacrifice a lot of perfects to play this section, but it's it's more consistent. Like, you know, you got to ask yourself, do you want to be more consistent at full comboing it or you really want to go for the marvelous? You know, it's, it, you got to you got to ask yourself what you're going for and then do the strategy that's going to give it to you. All right. So that's the hardest part complete. So we can basically breeze through the rest. All right. Just follow it. Big jumps. Hover over it. Big jump. Big jump. Big Hey, yeah, is it tiring? It should be, yeah. And then that's just evil, because like you're in the air, and then you, <laughs> yeah, it's it's an evil chart. Like it's evil. It's not a bad chart. It's just a, it's an evil chart. All right, a repeat of what we did earlier. I believe this time it's with your right foot for the mini screen. No, it's still left foot. Just it's even longer. So left foot. All right, quickly jump. And this is basically a rehash of what happened earlier. There's a couple back crosses that we're going to have to address and then a final like stomp, but let's get through it. All right, you can follow that. Nothing to. All right, so here's an evil crossover. So down, left, up, right. You must cross that over because we're going to be in a position that the left has to hit here. This is very reminiscent of Chaos Challenge uh, 17. And I, I think that, I think that, uh, that, yeah, yeah that's, a, that's a very similar pattern to something you'd see in uh, Chaos Challenge 17. And it's a slower BPM, so, you know, it's, it's, it's a good sister song to practice each other, yeah. Alright, this one can play out. Alright, no problems here. Alright, it play, basically plays all the way out, and then we finally have... Then we have this, like this. But what is this? You tell me. <laughs> so how do you do the final stomp? Uh, there's one trick that I have. I actually pretend like this is another arrow. Huh? How does that make any sense? Well, when I do my jump, I will then s get my foot up and slide it to a further place outside of of the uh, the arrow so I would do the jump hitting it here and then I'd quickly lift it up and like hit it down like dun -dun. like it's easier to do the sliding motion to get a two fast ones for me if I do it I fear that I won't lift up enough to un untrigger the the panel before I stomp down so I usually kind of come out when I stomp down on it all right and that basically wraps it up for that basically wraps it up for uh, Ishtar Challenge. So, Stardy, uh, Stardy28, thank you very much for the request. I hope you found this breakdown interesting. Everyone else, if you got any value out of this breakdown, please uh, leave a like and a comment on the video. If you want to request your own breakdowns, I do have a Patreon listed down below. And I, uh, one of the tiers is doing a chart breakdown. And knowing me, I probably will fall behind on other patron requests. And eventually, I'll just give you a makeup where I give you all free breakdowns. Okay. <laughs> all right, guys. I hope you enjoyed this. And I'll see you next time. Peace. Hey, guys. Thanks for watching this video. Be sure to leave a like and a comment down below. If you like what I do and want to be notified whenever I upload or go live, subscribe and hit that bell icon. If you really love me, consider pledging on Patreon to enjoy exclusive benefits. Lastly, keep the DDR discussion going by joining my Discord community, link below. Thanks again, and peace.